Alright, look at that ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Assassin's Creed the Ezio Collection, we're playing Assassin's Creed 2, the final Assassin Tomb, and we can get Altair's armor. Isn't that just incredible stuff? It's exciting. Alright, so, hmm, 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 let's do it. Straight into it. No hassle. This is probably whew, my favorite one in terms of speed. There's a reason for this. As much as I love doing these tombs, trust me, I love doing the tombs. Especially the first run through is always the best in all the games. I felt like they got better in Brotherhood and I felt like they got even better in Revelations. But there's nothing better than ones that go quickly. Now these ones go quickly because they're simply the chase tombs. As you'll see. Sit back down. <clears throat> We're in the middle of playing a tarot game. Uh, this time I saw something. I know it. That's what you say every time. <laughs> <laughs> you were right. There was something in the haystack, you feminucha. I'm tired of your jokes. This isn't funny. I couldn't be... No, you're right. You could have been killed. Uh, that's what you're going to say. So I say chase him. I mean this. I mean, we chase a guy into the end of the tomb, and that's pretty much the tomb. I believe this one has one puzzle at the end, but that's it. Other than that, like, we literally just chase this guy, and the tomb's Leave over. So, it's a quick one. Doesn't waste your time, it's efficient. This guy's so fucking dead. Come back here! Stop running! I just want to be friends! Can't we be friends? Oh! Sit down, bitch! I thought you would have been quicker than that, man. Yes, I will go to the end. Let me loot him! He could have coin! He, no, you didn't have much, you fucking poor bastard. I can literally just go through all the ones he was gonna... Go through. Wow, that was really easy. Yeah, okay, well... Huh. This makes it even easier, right? I don't even have to chase him. I can just kind of follow the main path, and, and that's it. The whole thing's over. No stress. Yeah, wow, we killed him really early. Spend most of the running not near him. Hey guys, don't mind me. I'm just gonna walk through. I guess I wasn't much of a guard. I didn't even chase him. I mean, usually when you chase him, the best thing to do is at the end, make sure you're using the obstacles to jump up and get near to kill on him. But, uh, I kind of just fucked that up by killing him super quick. So hopefully you guys can do the same thing. Here's the puzzle at the end, though. Some weird, creepy-ass crypt. Now, this one can be hard to do in one time go because it stops you every time you, you unlock one of the four doors. And it shows you, like, the angle of the door opening. And that's as because you're timed. Actually, the timer keeps going. Why well, you have to watch that shit? You can't just keep running through. So, for a first run through, it is hard. It's definitely possible. I've done it. But it's not always something I do every single time without fail. So, let's try to be as actually fast as possible. Oh, shit. No, see, I already fucked that up. I thought that was one of the doors. I was getting ready to stop. There's one of the doors. See, that little, like, one second I fucked up could have fucked up the rest of this run. But let's see how I go. Please don't screw it up, Tyler. Please look good and be professional. Another one, see, don't stop me. I thought you stop me for this fucking door. Then we gotta do the whole damn thing again. Three. OK, 
Okay, can we do it? Can we do it? I think we can. Maybe just. Maybe just do it. No, that's not the an angle I wanted to go. No, I'd probably not. Probably fuck this up. Might be able to do it. Hang on. Don't give up. We're so close. Oh, he made it. Nice. One go. Just the way I like it. I don't like making mistakes. It's not fun. I've played this too many times. I should not be fucking it up. Super creepy though. So these assassins built fucking rail tracks for this door. Bloody master inventors right there. Ladies and gentlemen, look at that. The final tomb seal. Phenomenal stuff. And as I always say, we're going to get the loot because, you know, listen to Tyler. But that's awesome. We've done it. We've got all six seals for the armor of Altair. So let's go now back to Monteregioni and unlock Altair's armor. Alright, we're back in the villa. We've got all the seals for Altair's armor. Let's go collect. It's always an exciting moment. Thank you, Altair, for this great gift. May it shield me from my enemies. Nailed it. Look at that. Reach 80% of Montreal Journey's total value. That's good. That's from getting that armor piece. Nice job. Nice job. I love it. And it looks as good as ever. Now, we can continue the game looking like a total master assassin badass. Which is always the goal, right? Always the goal.